Right, we're going to look into the IC version of solar tracking. So we previously did solar tracking using logic circuits, where you need two logic readers, two batch writers, two math units, and a memory. And we want to convert this into an IC version. Uh, I want to show you sort of how easy it is. So let's get started. So firstly, we we have a daylight sensor is sort of what we use to interact with. So what we want to be able to do, what we want to do is we want to set up the daylight sensor to our, uh, we want to set up the daylight sensor to be one of the devices. So let's go through and make it device zero. So you can see here, D0, device zero, let's make it the daylight sensor. Now we need to, we need to reference that inside the IC circuit. So what we want to do is we want to, we actually want to make an alias. So alias daylight sensor and we put that in D0. So this is basically a reference to the daylight sensor. Okay, and we'll actually just call it solar tracking. All right, so I've now got a reference to the daylight sensor. Um, so that's the first that's the first part done. So we've got the daylight sensor there and and you just gotta you gotta export that, right? So you can see that the daylight sensor is there. So let's go to the first one. So the first chip we need is a logic reader, and this reads the horizontal value of the daylight sensor. So if we come back here, we edit this. So if we want to if what well, what's important is is you need to you need variables to save values. So we first need to define um, our variables we want to use. So so if we call so what we'll do is we'll call we'll do alias we'll call this the logic reader horizontal right and we need to put this into a into a a resource slot. Um, which you define as R0. Right. So the logic reader, and now, so we've got a variable called logic reader horizontal. Now, if we want to actually read that, we use the load command. So if we just go L, right, we load, we have to say, what variable are we going to save this value into? And that's going to be the logic reader horizontal. And what are we reading? We're going to read the daylight sensor. And what are we going to read? The logic type. We want to read the horizontal. Whoops. Better, better fix this into the the right spelling. All right. So what this is? This is this is basically the same as this equivalent to a logic reader chip, right? So this will read the horizontal value of the daylight sensor and save it into logic reader horizontal, right? So now let's do the, the second one. So the second chip we have is the logic reader vertical, right? So we come back here First thing we need to do is define a variable. So we go alias logic reader vertical. And we have to call this R1. Now you can have up to 15, I believe, or 0 to 15. So it's like R0 to R15. All right. Should call this define devices and this is d0 to d5 okay so we've got the logic reader vertical so if we want to read that we use the load command um, what variable do we want to save this into we want to save this into the logic reader vertical what device are we reading we're reading the daylight daylight sensor and what logic type we're reading vertical so this is equiv. <laughs> oh, 
Whoops. Equivalent. <laughs> to a logic reader chip. Equivalent? <laughs> Have a look. Let's have a quick, uh, quick Google here. Equivalent. Equivalent. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we've got um, so we've got the logic reader for the horizontal and we've got the logic reader for the vertical. Now the second, so we've got the two logic readers, these are these are now defined. Now we've got a memory memory offset. So for for the solar tracking, the if you line everything up pointing to the 90 degrees, um, it means that we're going to have a, have an offset of 90. So, so if we come back here, so we have to alias this. So we alias this, and we call this the uh, logic memory offset, right? And that goes into R2. And the way you the way you set what the way you set an alias to um, to ninety is is you, you use the move command. So we want to move into logic memory offset, and the number we want to put is ninety. All right. So this is equivalent to uh, logic memory. Okay. Now next, so we've got so we've got the two logic readers, we've got the memory. Now let's look at the math unit. So this is the solar math horizontal. So what this does is it's reading the logic reader horizontal and the the solar memory offset and it's adding them together. So to do this in IC, what we do is um, we first need to define a variable to save this value to. So if we go, so we go alias logic um, logic math horizontal. Put it in R three. Right. So this is the so this is the variable. Now to add, you literally use the add command. And what variable do we want to save this as? We want to save it into logic math horizontal. And what are the two values we want to add up? We want to load up. We want to add up the logic reader horizontal, and we want to add in the logic memory offset. Okay. This is equivalent to our logic math. <laughs> math. <laughs> Equivalent to math chip. All right, so is that one? Um, so that's the logic um, solar math. Now we've got the logic solar vertical, and obviously this one's the same thing, right? We read this the logic reader vertical, and we read in the solar memory offset, and we add them together. So we come back here. We first define the variable, so that we want to save this to, so it's going to be logic math vertical. Put that in R4. And the way we do it is we use the add command. We add the variable we want to save it into is logic math horizontal. I mean, sorry, vertical. Two values we're reading is the logic reader vertical and the uh, logic memory offset. All right, And this is the equivalent to math chip. Okay, so that's, so we've now covered the two logic readers, the memory, the two math units, and now we got to do the batch writing. So the way a batch writer works is you, you read in a value. So in this case, it's the horizontal batch writer. So we read in the solar math horizontal, which is a combination of logic reader and the offset. And what we are doing is we're outputting to the solar panels and we're outputting to the horizontal. So 
we have to do an act this is actually going to, we have to do a batch writer here so so how we transfer that into IC10 is we actually use the um, the save batch command so so SB this will basically do a batch write now what we need though is we need the device hash so to find the device hash what you want to do is you want to you want to search for whatever item you want to batch write to in the in the station Peter by pressing F1 so we want to do it into the solar panel uh, so we click the solar panel um, and what's important um, is that is there's two options for solar panels right you have the solar panel dual and the solar panel we're using the solar panel which is which is where the power and the data come out the same side and what you want to do is you want to grab the prefab hash so this solar panel prefab hash prefab hash you just click on this and it copies it to the clipboard and that's what we put in the device hash the device hash is the solar panel thing um, the logic type we're writing to is horizontal and the value we're writing is we're going to we're going to do the logic math horizontal All right and we do the same thing for the vertical so so save batch we want to do the solar panels we want to do vertical and the value we want to save is logic math vertical okay now so we've now covered so we've got the daylight sensor in device zero we've got the two logic readers we've got the memory we've got the two math units and we've actually got the two batch writers so we've now completed we've now completed the ICs thing so if we so so we confirm this um, and we want to export this to the ICH solar tracking which is this one here and we export now the one the one problem with this so this this will actually work right so this will move it to the right location you can see that it's moving multiple multiple solar panels what the what the issue is is that there's no loop in this script like if you listen here uh, see how it's you see how it's moving like it does slight movements because it's constantly like the sun is constantly um, is constantly moving which you can see from just looking at this sensor probably not a great example at night time because this the you know obviously it's not it's not up in the sky <laughs> maybe we'll reinforce this at um, we'll reinforce this during the day so so although we've got although we've got an IC10 circuit that works so if we hit export now it, the the script's going to run once and it's going to align these solar panels with the with the solar tracking right and so for a very brief moment we're going to get efficiencies close to like 99 percent right so it won't quite be exact because of but if we hit it if we hit it now we should get it to 99 percent right but that's the problem is that this script only runs once in its current form so although it's correct it runs once um so the way you the what you what you meant to what you meant to do is you meant to have a loop and the way you define a loop um, I recommend just a, a consistent name so just call it main with a colon and you can see this is actually this means that this is like a, a line that you can jump to and what if we want to loop all we have to do is at the bottom of this we want to use the jump command so we just do jump and we go say jump to main so what this will do is this so this stuff runs once it then gets into the loop it runs through this loop once, hits a jump to main, and then goes back to this line. Right? So anything outside here is never looked at again. It's only looked at once, but everything in this loop is, yeah, everything inside here gets looped. So if we if we confirm this, right, and and the main thing we have to export it, so we export it to solar tracking, you'll see that this solar tracking will now, you can hear it moving. 
So it's just going to continually follow the solar tracking now. So that loop is now made at work. Um, but something that you'll notice is that the solar panel heavies obviously are not moving. The solar panel dual is not moving or, or the solar panel heavy dual is not moving. And that's because we're only writing to the hash of the solar panel. So if we want to improve this further, right? So this thing here. So if we want to improve this further, we can just, we've already got the variables. We just need a different hash. So, so let's look up. So I've got the solar panel. So let's look up the solar panel dual hash. So if we click on that. So the prefab hash for solar panel dual is this. So let's click on this. And let's do SB, the dual, horizontal, and we'll go logic math horizontal. And we'll copy this, we'll copy this line, we'll change the horizontal to vertical, change the logic math vertical here, and we'll confirm that. And then let's export it. And what we should see is that the dual the dual one is now is now getting into the right um, yeah the dual one is now getting um, getting written to so th this will keep in in track and we can do the same for the solar panel heavy right so we press F1 look up um, solar panel heavy right so click on solar panel heavy there's the prefab hash so let's copy that Um, so, so SB horizontal logic math horizontal, right? SB vertical logic math vertical, All right? Export that and we should get the solar panel heavy moving and then we can do the same for the dual. So we look up solar panel heavy, we find the solar panel heavy dual, we get the prefab hash, and um, we do the same. So this is probably faster. Doesn't have the best copy paste uh, mechanism, but it's good, uh, good enough. Okay, so we've got that. We export that. And now we've got the solar panel heavy dual also um, also working. So so this is just a very sort of brief brief rundown of how you can convert that logic the logic chips into IC chips. Um, and it's not as it's not as hard as you you may you know you may think. Um, so yeah. Yeah, get out there writing IC chips.